Hello everyone. Today let's solve student attendance record two. Hmm. There is three types of uh, attendance record: a absent, a late, p present. So we are given an integer n, which records n times of this uh, attendance record. We would like to um, count. Uh, there are how many ways to get attendance award by following these two um, rules. The first is uh, there should be less than two a in that string. There should there is no um, three l's in a row. Uh, in a row, so that's the rules. Okay. Uh, because the number can be very large, so we should return it a module, a large number, large integer. So it indicates we should use dynamic programming because that's one of the use of DP. It will usually be used to count how many ways, and especially we need to module that a certain integer. So what we need to think of is what is the transition functions, because um, I. We know today we have three uh, possibilities, P, A, O, A, O. So how many ways we can get a rewards for today is dependent on how many ways we can get a, the award yesterday. So basically it's about DPI something should equal DPI plus DPI minus one, which means the day before today. Well, according to there are three possibilities today, we can assume uh, what the state of yesterday. Uh, what does that mean? Well, certainly we need uh, to base on the days. So it will start from i, uh, sorry, 1, uh, i less or equal than n, uh, i plus plus. Why it's a start from 1 is because it's more like uh, how many days? Like, uh, there is already one day, there is already n days, so you can understand like this. And uh, we know today we have three possibilities. So um, if it's present, then today's something should be, uh, I mean, the number of uh, A and the number of, of A will be the same from yesterday. But uh, if uh, today is absent, we know yesterday should at least uh, 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 sorry, yesterday should not have any A because today is A absent. But uh, in turn, we, we can only have one absent, right? Somehow, uh, yeah, something. And if today is A, which means yesterday should uh, be at most uh, um, one A because we cannot have three A in a row. So you can assume yesterday's uh, status. Okay, just uh, this uh, simple transition rules. We, we can write the code now to understand that better. So firstly, what's the um, what will be our DP array? Well, first uh, dimension should be the number of days, like a uh, number of records. The second dimension will be two. Third dimension will be three. What does that mean? Because it is actually constrained by the number of absent and uh, absent and the number of uh, late. So in total, it would be at last one a and uh, at last two a in a row. So that's what it means. And uh, what is the initial value we need to give the DP array? Would be uh, zero zero, which means. Uh, zero length, zero a zero a will have one way to formulate that uh, string. It will have a, a word. After that, we need to do this kind of transition functions. So if today is p, which means um, we, we have several ways to have this a. The absent will be absent, absent. Absent, 
it would be j equal to 0, j less than 2. We have two possibilities for this number of a and j plus plus. How many ways we have the possibilities for um, a oh, late? It's like uh, k equal to 0, k less than 3. So 0, 1, 2, and k plus plus. If today is present, which means the late, uh, we, we don't care how many late before, but uh, today's late should be 0, right? And uh, i and uh, j. So uh, this 0 means uh, because today we are present, that means uh, so the late will be 0. Because it is about a consecutive, 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 j and uh, zero, plus uh, previous day i minus one and the j would be the same, and about the k would be the same, and the uh, module mode. So let's write the mode i zero 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 seven. Yeah, that's for the present. If today is absent, 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 absent. So if today is absent, which means we just need to enumerate how many, uh, how many possibilities about the late. Still zero, k less than three, k plus plus. Um, so it will be i, well, because today is absent, so in total one, right? And uh, it will still be zero because today we are absent. So we just ended the consecutive zero. Uh, late. Consecutive late. I one zero plus pre preceding day will be I minus one. And uh, because today we are absent, so yesterday we cannot be absent because if we have two, we, we cannot have a words. So it will be zero. And uh, just a k. Then module mode. How about today is late? If today is late, we have how many ways to about the absent? It will be zero, j less than two, just the same, j plus plus. Um, how about uh, the k? Uh, the late, late will be zero. Uh, actually, wouldn't. Uh, want to write like this. We would like write like uh, start from one and k less than three, k plus plus. Because in that case, we can just uh, write, uh, um, well, dp, dpi and the j, right? And uh, that will be k equal to dp. Mm. Well, let's just uh, copy that um, plus. Well, yesterday i minus one. And uh, what about the number of a just a j? And uh, so yesterday would only be k minus one because it because today is late. Uh, the number we can uh, handle of a o is k minus one for yesterday. So module m o d. Okay, that's it. Then we just uh, accumulate the number of the possibilities. So I uh, actually would just uh, be uh, constant. 0, j less than 2, j plus plus, and uh, mm, k equal to 0, k less than 3, k plus plus. Then result will equal to result plus dp n. You should know it in the end it's the length of n. And then j k module mode so just a return result yeah seems just uh, fine let's submit okay well you would uh, notice that uh, uh, for the dp we only use the preceding days so we don't need to actually use these three dimensions we can just use um, a temporary 2D DP for each, when we handle each day. So we just remove this dimension. Okay, remove this dimension. But the thing is we need to distinguish pre, uh, between preceding day and the current day. So 
for each time we just uh, new a uh, temporary dp the size will still be two three and uh, well here for the current uh, uh, layer we just uh, handle the temporary dp temporary dp and this is the um, global dp or the yeah globe scope dp so here temporary dp remove the first dimension uh temporary dp and uh, dp is from the preceding row and then temporary dp temporary dp uh, then remove that dimension okay well after we finish this current layer we just update the dp to the uh, temporary dp so here we just uh, yeah do the same thing seems uh, correct oh sorry okay thank you for watching see you next time